Yeah, dog, Thomas G here once again with another cryptocurrency video for you guys. Welcome to the channel. Don't forget to smash that like button, drop a comment. And always remember, I'm not a financial advisor, for damn sure not a professional. This is cryptocurrency, man. You got to do your own research. Now, don't forget, never ever allow an influencer on any social media platform out there to influence you when it comes to cryptocurrency. You can get wrecked. Lose it all. This is crypto. Code goes bad. Things go wrong. Rug pulls, you name it. Today, we're going to do a quick run through on iBurn, the ICOSA burn protocol. All right. Everybody is talking about Gifford Wear Token, GIF. All right. And they're talking about PermaGIF, right? PGIF, and the mechanics of this PermaBull GIF technology that's taking place. This is one of a kind. Systemic design created by the team to do wonderful things where it brings the volume of arbitrage trading, the volume of people interested in tech versus narratives, tech versus meme tokens. This is where you really draw the line in the sand of what makes blockchain innovative and better today is this type of technology. So permagif, that tech has been out. You you use your gif. And for example, if you type in 10,000 gif, you can mint 10,000 pgif. People are utilizing that and doing an arbitrage opportunity to mint. You pay a protocol fee. That protocol fee gets put into the protocol itself for buying and burning uh, the tokens. PGIF and GIF are working side by side with this protocol and this fee to help PGIF burn tokens out of circulation, all right? The ICOSA token is part of the iBurn, part of the tech that's being utilized. It's already been demonstrated between GIF and PermaGIF and what's happening and the price action and the price appreciation that's been taking place. The community is growing quick. ICOSA is the token that they decided to take and which this is going to help bring it to parity between the EICOSA and PICOSA. We're looking at the price of PICOSA right now at 10, uh, 10 and a half cents plus, right? iBurn is a token that you create by utilizing your ICOSA, burning your ICOSA tokens to mint iBurn and you will pay a pulse protocol fee just like you do minting GIF to PGIF, right? And this is going to help all parties involved. We're gonna take a look at Giftware Token, Giftware Twitter. They launched this two days ago on May the 12th, right? Contract address, the website. So per one um, ICOSA, you would play a 1500 pulse mint fee to burn one i burn right so one icosa burns and it creates one i burn that one icosa is a 1500 pulse mint fee which the protocol takes 85 percent of the pulse that will buy and burn i burn 15 percent of the pulse will buy and burn pgif look at the price of pgif look what's been going on with pgif which is the token you use GIF to mint for it and use the protocol fee. So this here has been applied to the iBurn, right? And we're gonna go to the iBurn, it's icosaburn.win. As you can see here, I have, and make sure that if you're using Rappi Wallet, that it's when you connect to the website, you go to the lower uh, part of the uh, Rabbi wallet and connect to Pulse Chain, right? I have 6,011 ICOSA, PICOSA. You can use EICOSA. The EICOSA has to be bridged over from Ethereum to Pulse Chain to utilize, but you can use that as well. I'm on ICOSA because this is PICOSA. I'm going to mint, right? I'm going to burn 6,011. 0.4067 ICOSA, so we're at $643.82. Um, 
it's going to mint me the same amount of iburn 6011 iburn but the value is $1100 and 8 and 8 cents but you are going to pay a protocol fee of 9 million 17,110 pulse, which is $528, right? So the arbitrage that's going on with GIF and PermaGIF, that's right now creating the volume and opportunity for people to stack more GIF, RB between GIF and PGIF, right? And the minting function is burning more PGIF. So this function here, and this protocol fee here, like I mentioned, is going to help PGIF. It's going to take ICOSA out of circulation. It's going to burn it. You're going to end up with iBurn. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and approve the contract and pay this fee. Right. I'm in my wallet here. I'm going to approve the contract for that amount of so the 6011 uh, ICOSA and turn that into iBurn. And then I'm going to tell you and show you why I'm extremely bullish on what could happen to the price of iBurn which is only 18 cents at this point, okay? So I'm going back to icosaburn.win. I can now mint the, now that I approve the contract. I'm going to mint, and once I mint those icosa, it's burned, I don't have that 6,011 icosa. It's now I burn, and I paid the $528 pulse fee, right? And you can do the math there. The $643 was the $528, and you're getting $1,133 value of iBurn. But I'm I'm bullish on the price of iBurn going up. I'm not looking to like do an arbitrage right now and, and trying to earn a little bit. I'm looking at the bigger picture. Because what we're going to plug in is some numbers that are important here that I think are going to affect the price directly. So let's go to the block explorer here. You see icosa burn i burn 2.4 2 million i burn is is in existence right now and this has a buy and burn if we go back to that tweet of 85 percent of the of the pulse this pulse here these protocol fees 85 percent of that is going to be set aside for the buy and burn of the i burn token that's only 18 cents so the numbers and stats I want you to look at, just click on the iBurn contract here, and we're gonna plug that into the Block Explorer. And let's take a look. Um, I'm already, okay. Let's take a look by clicking Contract, go to Read Contract, right? And we're gonna click on the Buy and Burn address here. Copy and paste that. Get this address. And we're going to see the balance of the protocol fee that's being charged to mint from ICOSA to iBurn. ICOSA burn token, right? I, iBurn. There's 2,288,000. Or 2,288,000,000. 29,464 pulse already in the buy and burn for iBurn, which is 21,000 liquidity, only a $436,000 market cap. Okay, go look, plug in how much pulse uh, that's valued at. I took the, the number that was in the contract sitting there for the buy and burn and just plug that bad boy in right that's one hundred and thirty four thousand three hundred and seven dollars that's already sitting here in the buy and burn that at any time at random can be triggered to purchase and burn the supply of iburn so that's a lot of money to burn a large percentage of the supply of iburn and this token, it holds intrinsic value because it's reducing the circulating supply of the original token, which is ICOSA. And its value within itself now is a token that has a use case for the ICOSA token, burning it, creating iBurn, but now has a buy and burn 
using the permeable technology, the cycle of everything that's been going on already in real time that we're now seeing with GIF burning and minting for GIF, and we're seeing these numbers happen now in real time, and it's been happening for a couple months now. Now everyone's looking at GIF and PGIF going, whoa, how did this happen? This, this happened through this process. And now we have a lot of money sitting and parked on the sidelines to take this price to some new levels, right? You already can look at the holders, the top holder of the iBurn token, 277,000 iBurn, right? So the more people that burn, the more pulse that's going to be set aside for the buy and burn, right? At an 18 cent, only a $449,000 market cap. Hello, McFly. 10x market cap brings it at 4 million. That's nothing in crypto. Only $22,000 in liquidity. Price volatility is going to be there. So it's not going to take a lot of buy pressure to shoot that up at the buy and burn. I'm just saying, this is why GIF is where it's at. And why GIF is going to continue to increase from where it's at going forward with the arbitrage. But the same mechanics are going to happen here with iBurn. So if you're familiar and you've done your research on GIF and PGIF and you look at the chart or you've been there in real time to see it play out. Ta-da! The <laughs> GIF where team has provided you a second opportunity and there's more to come and this uh design is going to move with or without you it doesn't care about your emotions it's a, a systemic design it gives no you know what it doesn't care about your emotions and what will happen when you sell is you'll look back and go man i sold too early and I'll continue to do that. So that's enough for today's just quick tutorial on how to get into iBurn and my vision of what the price can do. We've looked at the 2.2 billion plus. When you look at it in a week, it can be 4.4 billion in double pulse. So do the math. The moon math is out there. The quick tutorial on how to get in is out there. You buy your Icosa. Take your liquid Icosa, you bring it here, rewind the video to see how I did that, pay your protocol fee, kick back, relax, arbitrate, whatever it is you, you want to do, but join the Telegram groups, check them out, do your research. Till next time, we'll do it again. Yeah, dog.